Okay, we're back here live inside the cube of SiliconAngle.tv's exclusive coverage of the HBase conference. This is where all the alpha geeks and the ninjas and the pirates, they're all here building the next generation. Uh, I call the holy trinity of the Hadoop ecosystem. HDFS, HBase, and uh, MapReduce all kind of coming together to create a highly scalable marketplace. Uh, HBase conference is uh, changing the game on the data warehousing, business intelligence, adding a real-time element. This is where the action's happening, and, uh, and we're here live, and I'm here with Danny Ryan, who's the data ninja at Riot Games. Danny, uh, ex-Cloudera, we knew each other at Cloudera. Um, you did your thesis on a project that we worked on together. Yeah. That um, we've had the chief data scientist, uh, uh, Michelle Bailey for VDP Finder. Um, great contributor to the community, um, great guy. Welcome to theCUBE. Uh, thanks John, thanks for a lovely introduction. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to see like where Hedgebase is going. I've uh, been using like Hedgebase for quite some time. Uh, it's been like 2.5 years since I started using Hedgebase. It's really, really a good data storage system. Uh, good for real-time applications and good for big data. Um, yeah, one of my thesis project was to do something over the social media analytics, which is very hard. Like there are a lot of people doing that, and many get it right, and many get it like in a different way. Uh, so, yeah, there there is like a lot of things that are happening. And uh, one of the talk today was again like using HBase for graphs by some kind of company called FullContact.com. So it's again. It's echoing the same sentiment. You can have graphs in HBase, you can have social media in HBase, you can aggregate real time on HBase. HBase uh, on top of Hadoop is a kind of layer which allows you to do like a lot of cool stuff, which is not possible before. I don't. So let's take your social yeah. media analytics project you did for your thesis. So, um, and then we'll talk about Riot Games in, the, in a quick second. So, what did you hear today? that gives you new insight into that kind of project um, around social media analysts. What was new? Uh, what was new was, uh, we have like cheap, we can like now store terabytes of information just on, on a, like a shoestring budget. That is, a couple of community hardware, put a free open source software on top of it, uh, open source stack, and here, boom, we go. You have like eight to nine terabytes of data, which is like accessible, and which is like, completely like indexable and and you can do like low latency key value access which is really cool right which is not possible like a decade ago you have to like go for enterprise grade software systems which will cost a lot of uh, millions of dollars or sometimes you know, like hundreds and thousands of dollars uh, so there was like a lot of impediments to like using those systems so Hedgebase actually like, uh, simplified a lot of things for us uh, if you are in the community, you get to know what, how the system works. And of course, the community is there to help you with all sorts of uh, schema design, answer your questions. Uh, and it's great, and we grow together. Like, Hedgebase improved, and we started improving with it. Like, now you can store like hundreds of writes per second uh, in a real-time fashion. So what are you, what's going on at Riot Games right now? So obviously you were at Cloudera, did um, your master's internship with Cloudera, um, and then graduated and went to Riot Games, um, heading up the data platform there, yeah. architecting that out. What yeah. is what's going on there? Tell us a little bit about the environment and the architecture and kind of the business metrics of zillions of users. What's the numbers? Yeah, so, so I can share the public numbers with you. Uh, so the public numbers were released like last number, November. Uh, we have grown since then, but the public numbers are like 32 million uh, registered gaming. 30 million. 32 million registered, 32 million registered gaming. Re registered gamers across the planet, uh, 145 countries, 4 million unique logins every day, 10.5 million gaming hours every day. So that is different than like just visiting a website. It's very hardcore. It's the average user. That's hyperscale. Scale is huge, like like lots of gaming servers. I can say like uh, like thousands of them, and we generate a lot of data, of course. Uh, so that's that's a that's a huge deal. So we are still like uh, trying. We will be using Hedgebase, and we are like doing a lot of proof of concepts uh, for using Hedgebase. We are finding the use cases for it, uh, and I'm gi I'm giving a talk at the Hadoop Summit uh, regarding the use cases of Hadoop. Uh, 
at Riot Games. That's a good plug. So Hadoop Summit is June 12th and 13th, or 13th and 14th, uh, here in uh, Santa, Santa Clara in the Bay Area. Um, if you're really interested, there'll be more tech talks there, so yeah. uh, you'll be speaking there. I will be speaking there uh, regarding how we use Hadoop and Hive to like leverage uh, the data which Riot Games produces. So that's something which we have as a production quality system. Uh, you're in production with it. Yeah, we are in production with the Hadoop and Hive stuff. The, it's Not used for backend. It's used for backend analysis. Is HBase in, in production? No. So we are like, looking for use cases. Uh, we know that HBase is really awesome for real near time analytics. Uh, so we are. What is near? What does near real time mean? Near real nanoseconds, time means seconds. seconds. Not nanoseconds. Nah, never. No, <laughs> you, you can go, go to like sub milliseconds at max with HBase. Nanoseconds. I had to like spend millions. That's RAM, before. that's called flash memory. Yeah, that's like flash drives and SSDs. But of course, with the scale which we talk, like web scale, near real time is good. Uh, people don't expect like your data to be aggregated in like nanoseconds. We are not running banks, right? Yeah. No, 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 well, you uh, can actually run some front end stuff to kind of yeah. kind of load pages and load some sure, images sure, sure, in there sure. and bring it in yeah. within a second. Yeah, but mm. you don't lose a million dollar if there is a millisecond interval. Just like like financial uh, financial yeah. companies well, care about. Yeah, gaming stocks. gaming environment, multiplayer gaming is really you know seconds do matter. Transactions, start some virtual currency. Agree, agree, agree. Yeah. So we we are more uh, think about the analytics use cases, uh, which is not transaction oriented. Uh, Hatchbase. Even as of now, it doesn't guarantee. Good for that. analytics. Yeah, good for analytics, but not good for transactions. Uh, what are you using for the transactions? Uh, for transactions, people use the regular stuff. Uh, so I'm not like I'm not. It's I'm OLTP not on that stuff. Stack. Yeah, regular OLTP stuff. I'm not on that stack. I'm more about the big data stuff. How to use the logs? How to use like a ton of data drive generators? How to mine interesting patterns? This kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and same with like every big data project. You get you design a schema, you have it right, and you like, run a bunch of map algorithms. algorithms. Yeah, and uh, you know you're very entrepreneurial and get to know you over the past couple of years. Yeah. Uh, it's exciting time, and yeah. uh, you know Riot Games is uh, one of those startups that yep. uh, is looking really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> As well as uh, the, and what's going on in the community, I know you're very active with yeah. with uh, with the, your peers, and that's great. Sure, 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 sure. I'm looking forward to like um, every bit of opportunity available here. Um, I'm glad that the, my master's thesis actually is good in terms of solving a real business world problem. Uh, very glad to know about it. So yeah. um, obviously you were, you, uh, you know, it's been kicked around and it's really not really that big of a public secret, but uh, you, know, you were actively involved in helping me get VDP Finder yep. off the ground when you yep. were at Cloudera transitioning to yep. get your master's degree. Yep. Um, I showed you the current product. Yep. You haven't seen it in a while, so uh, what do you think of the current uh, situation of that product? I mean, Michelle's obviously doing some good work in, that, in the field yep. with customers and the field trials and the engineering team. Um, that, that you know through the community is doing some good work. Yep. What do you think of the progress to date? I think it's very awesome progress. It's something which is uh, not done so far. Aggregating people in real time is a win, right? So I'm not sure many of have you seen are, Have you seen this yeah, anywhere else? Uh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I've not have seen. Have you seen anyone doing what we're doing? No, no. <laughs> The thing is, I would love to get it patented as soon as possible. <laughs> we, <laughs> we were talking we, on we, camera. <laughs> <laughs> don't just don't say, we are patenting it. So, uh, we so are patenting it. I'll, I'll, make no sure you get a little, I'll make sure you get a little byline. But you know, our engineers have been doing some good work. Yeah, yeah, Michelle's yeah. doing some good work yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the, the things, field like. trials are, are very successful so right now. No, from a technical this. perspective, HBase as a batch now real time, some of the things that we've done that I showed you is pretty compelling. Yep, so just. Yep. Uh, um, how far are we ahead? Do, are we ahead? Yeah, we are ahead. Let me tell you this pyramid. So, around like 2000, Yahoo was a pinnacle company because they showed web pages. Then Google came and you, were, you can search like millions of web pages. And then Facebook came and you can see millions of people. And this pyramid simply grows. Like, there should be something to do with people, right? People are on the internet. People are everywhere. So something to search, something to like, yeah. trigger I mean, and like group people, those kind of stuff. You your know? your vision <laughs> is uh, right on, and you yeah. know, you're, you're present, you created that product with me, so your vision is fantastic. 
Yeah, I agree. Uh, the, the, I don't know. Like people. <laughs> it's a people web. I mean, it's about people. It's about people. It's going to be about people. And there are multiple social networks now. There's LinkedIn, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's Twitter. So you can see now the world is having like multiple aggregates of people. So there's, there should be something on top of it. So you go and go yeah. on building so, the pyramid. So it should be great to get that in an interesting analytic layer. Yep, uh, uh, H base, so that's kind of what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Uh, very exciting, I wish I could talk more about it. Uh, Danny, I'm glad that you were part of it. Uh, VDP Finder, Michelle's leading the charge there. It's a real big success story for HBase, and uh, you know, Mike Olson was really impressed when I showed it to him and all the Cloudera guys, and I'm proud to say we're, you know, we're using Cloudera Manager, so. Yeah, that's something which uh, actually simplified the adoption. Hey, just like install it in a... Cloudera saved months. Months of savings. Yeah, and you don't have to like automate any stuff. It's cool, it's a cool product. So what do you think about this conference? What's your wrap up of the conference? This conference is the first Hitchbase conference of many yet to happen. And this is very exciting for the first conference that there's so many people, like it's just like one product and we have like many people working. So. This is Christoph Brasilia, he was on. Uh, Christoph was on talking about uh, his product, uh, another Hitchbase cohort. Uh, what do you think about Weeby Data and some of the stuff that they're doing? Yeah, Weeby Data is an exceptional product. It's a schema layer on top of Hedgebase and it's very generic. Um, it's, it can be used for social media, it can be used for any, any, any kind of like entity center of data. So it's people are- He's a cool guy too. Like he's, a, yeah, you know, people he's will be designing uh, much more focused stuff similar to Weeby Data. It's, it's a, it, the fact that Weeby Data exists actually points to us yeah, there's something you There's have an to do. application middle layer opportunity. That's right. There's an opportunity there. That that's what I, I I suppose. Like yeah. So every every application requires a very specific schema. This is what you understand. Hbase is not like MySQL. You just insert, uh, you just install it, and you have tables. Uh, bloom. So you can have your app. It's not like LAMP stack. It's not ready. It's not. It has to be tailored. It, it it's like a tailored suit, which. HBase is a tailored suit. I like that. Yeah, HBase is like high end custom suit. Uh, My sequel is off the rack. I'm off the rack. <laughs> it's just like, I'm going to use that line. Nice. Uh, or That's like, good. Or, or like a sports car. Needs to be tailored. Yeah, it has to be tailored for you and for yeah. your use case. And there's a ton of opportunity there. Like every application needs a schema design, which is not very intuitive. There are many stuff which you need to understand when you use HBase, the row key design, the single most important factor that determines what you're So, so does. What, what, what needs to happen? Will, where there'll be uh, a common layer? I mean, someone has to fill that void. Yeah, that's right. So is it Weeby Data? Is it is VDP? What, what is it? So every, every vertical and every uh, segment of business will need its own use case for HBase, and I guess there are going to be multiple players. Uh, so. One company will be focused on designing something for a particular CRM application on top of HBase maybe, and some other company maybe like focused on a social media application, because you have to tailor it, you cannot just use it, so every, everyone. So the, the ease yeah. of use, the tools need to yeah. be developed. Yeah, th that's there. So there's a huge gap, so uh, I think there are going to be multiple players and it's going to be an awesome time ahead. Okay, so what's next for Riot Games? Riot Games is expanding worldwide. It's a global phenomenon, and it's taken off well, and people love our games. How do you like living in Santa Monica? <laughs> oh, wow, that's a good question. So Versus Silicon Valley. <laughs> come on, tell, uh, come clean. <laughs> tell us, tell us. <laughs> Santa Monica is all about like beautiful nature uh, in terms of climate and everything else. People. People, stylish people. You get like you often meet like people who are like really awesome. Uh, here, of course, like you meet geeks like on the road. There you run into beautiful girls. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, <laughs> beautiful people. Yeah. Okay, Danny Ryan with Riot Games, uh, good friend and uh, co-founder of VDP. Uh, just on a, on a project, yet uh, congratulations. Continue to be a strategic advisor to VDP Finder. Uh, that Michelle's running, great stuff that we've been part of at Silicon Valley Lab, Silicon Angle Labs. Um, congratulations, great to see you. Uh, we'll be right back uh, with a wrap up after the short break, and uh, Michelle Bailey and myself will wrap up the HBase conference uh, right after this break. <laughs>